Hello, Iris Zero here. Hope you're all well. I'm good. Thank you very much for asking. So today at Comic-Con in San Diego, a bunch of trailers were shown for films that I'm super excited about. Uh, the first one was Blair Witch. Cannot wait for that and proper sequel. Uh, looks really good and apparently no one knew this was happening and it's coming out in September, September 16th. Um, so that ought to be awesome. Wonder Woman, a new trailer was shown. Um, all I could think of was, when I saw the Wonder Woman trailer was, wow, that explains why Chris Pine's hair looked weird, probably, in, uh, in Star Trek Beyond. Or maybe it's vice versa, I don't know. But the trailer I'm going to talk about now is uh, Justice League. Finally, they didn't just show footage, they actually showed a really, really cool trailer. And they had a cool uh, image of the team as well which had Superman, who wasn't in the trailer, which I honestly hope they hold back on Superman until they show a trailer closer to the film's release. Like right now, they should just worry about getting Wonder Woman out the door, and then, uh, even though that does look super cool, they don't wanna brush off Wonder Woman. But the thing what I liked most about the Justice League trailer, and which I left very, very happy about, the tone was very light. It wasn't dark, it wasn't depressing, it wasn't sad, it was very, honestly, it was very Avengers, it was very Marvel-like, which is a very good thing because the Marvel movies are great. Why not copy them? Um, there was definitely a, a kind of Tony Stark, uh, Spider-Man thing from Civil War when I had the scene with Bruce Wayne and Barry Allen. I'm going to be in, interested to see how they do uh, the flashes kind of going really fast. I don't watch the TV show, so I don't know if they're, if they're going to copy that. But obviously, what they've done, what Marvel or what Fox has done with Quicksilver, that's kind of how you do that thing. And I think the Flash's power is kind of the same. I'm not a big Flash fan. I'm more Batman. But trailer looked great. It introduced the new characters. It showed Aquaman. Uh, it showed Cyborg and it showed The Flash. My thing about um, about Aquaman has always been, how are they going to make him work without water? Like, is it going to be a case where they just happen to be close to water where he can use all these powers? Like, is that going to be kind of the big thing when people talk about this movie when they're nitpicking? It's like, what would happen if they were, like, in the center of the desert? That's going to be, uh, that's going to be interesting. Didn't really show... As much of cyborg as i'd like to see like it showed him without the costume showed him with the costume uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what he does what he can do in the actual film but i'm really excited about it and i'm glad to see that uh they're taking a lighter tone maybe it's criticism to uh batman versus superman doesn't matter still looks good wonder woman definitely has kind of like a light tone and uh, yeah, we'll have to say it's 2017. I don't know when uh, when Justice League's meant to be out. I don't think they gave a date and I haven't looked it up. It might be uh, 2017 or it might be 18. I don't know. Either way, super excited. Trailer looks great. And can't wait to see how it turns out. Well, anyway, that's it for me for today. Unless there's another cool trailer. Although Hideo Kojima maybe showing some more of his new game in a few minutes actually he has some talk at comic-con we'll see how that goes so like this video like subscribe share whatever so until next time i say to you all have a good one